Hello guys, this is NDM here on this peaceful day in Clock Town, on the dawn of the first day pretty much. And in this episode, we are now going to start the Cafe in Anju side quest. Now this is probably the funnest side quest in the whole game and the hardest, also probably the hardest side quest and the most confusing, the ones that people most struggle with the most. Uh, yeah, so where do we start? Well, what we got to do to start the, well what I'm going to do first to start off the side quest is that we're going to go inside the mayor's house and we got to go speak to his wife to get something from her. And the mayor's house only opens on at 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we're going to have to wait till 10 a.m. So we're going to wait, well, it, there's no point in me cutting now because it's only going to take me like a few minutes to wait for this to go to 10 a.m. So I'm just going to wait until 10 a.m. So we can go inside and speak to Madame Aurora. Aurora or whatever her name is. Can I shoot this box with an arrow? Destroy it. Hey, where's Gorman going? He's, he's leaving the stockpot in. He's walking up the stairs. I'm walking up the stairs. I'm walking down the stairs. I'm walking up the stairs. I'm walking down the stairs. And I'm going to snipe you in the head with my arrow. Ah, oh, I missed. I miss snipers ready snipers I'm gonna shoot you in the head shoot you in the back of the head I'm gonna shoot you in the ass and if I can get a clear shot on his butt right there hang on no 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 ah uh, no he, he's going in he's going in oh no well I can still snipe the kid <laughs> alright so now it's 10 a.m. so we can go and start instead of messing around out there trying to snipe every single townsperson and trying to kill everyone we're not supposed to be killing people, we're supposed to be saving Termina from devastation and destruction. Not killing people. A nice little cow ornament that you got there. It seems that everyone in this town seems to have a cow ornament. I guess it's like some kind of popular craze. Bah, bother, bother, I'm busy. Well, f polite manners, Gorman. Very polite manners. Alright, so this is the first time we've spoken to his wife. So in fact, this is the first time we've actually been in this building in this LP. Oh dear, are you on a field trip, or, or are you, or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't really. He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat, and I've lost five pounds. You haven't, you haven't anything though. Oh dear. Well, could you look for him? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh my, oh my. Of course, you are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. And then she gives you a mask. <laughs> she gives you a mask that looks like her son. And this is basically the identity that you go around town and speak to people, and then they recognise you as this person who's missing. Apparently, wear this mask to inquire information about missing cafe. Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, was added to your notebook. You took the work of a pro. This is also added to your notebook. So, uh, what are you doing in here? I thought you were supposed to be running a band inside a latte milk bar, not sitting around on your ass watching a fire and Gorman walking right in front of your face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a very appealing sight. But anyway, this is uh, his bedroom, I guess, the mayor's bedroom. And this is, I don't know whose room this is, but there's three beds. So, let's read this, let's read this book. Let's be nosy. Oh, it's Cafe's room. So, this is Cafe's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> so you so you want to go and speak? You want to make a speech and talk about Andrew or Andrew? In front of everyone, front in front of all the townspeople in the milk bar. Right, so we're pretty much done here. That's all we came in here for was to get the uh, cafe's mask. Um, if you speak to people with the cafe's mask, they get you get all sorts of different reactions. I actually haven't spoken to everyone in town wearing this mask, so you, you know what? We might as well start with the counter the person who's working behind the counter. Oh, how many people are going to ask me that? That lady is so persistent. Oh, so doesn't Cafe want to break off his engagement to Andrew? Why not tell him? That's what he wants. Some people. Yeah, yeah some people. Alright, so. Uh, I'm going to talk to Toto. See what he has to say. 
I wonder if he says anything. Are the fins damp lately? That's the greeting. That's the greetings used among us Thors. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, manager of the band The Indigo Goes. I'm out of business cards, so so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They've put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Huh? You don't really? Even the, even that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. Yeah, well, we just tried to make the show work, but it didn't work in the last video, so I don't know what's going on with that. I think you have to... Well, what my solution was to um, get in the band performance to work was that you had to beat Great Bay Temple and retrieve and recover Lulu's voice again. So whether that's what you have to do, I have no idea. But I think that's probably the case. Also, I was playing on the Nintendo 64 earlier, and I was trying to play on Blast Corps. And do you realize how you have to start a new game on that? Because I got it for Christmas and I got it off Amazon, so someone already had a save file on there and I wanted to erase the file so I could start my own new game. And the way how you start a new game on that game is that you have to hold the start button as soon as you turn on the cartridge. So you have to press the start button before the Rareware logo comes up. And then you have to click new game. And that's how you start a new game. You don't go on the main menu or anything and it doesn't say new game on the on the title screen. No, you have to start a new game by pressing the pressing down the start button. That's really cryptic, but oh well. <laughs> We're the twin jugglers from the Gorman Troop. We're practicing for the big carnival. It happens once in a blue moon, or in this year, or in this year's case, once in a really, really scary red-eyed moon. Oh no, you don't. You guys just say the same crap. So you, so you're not paying any attention to a missing person. While well, you guys are heartless, all you care about is juggling each other's balls. Freaking juggling each other's balls. Man, you must be obsessed. <laughs> oh, it's Anju. She's coming round. Quick, hide. We don't want her to think that we're at cafe. Hide around the corner. Don't tell her I'm here. Please, don't tell her I'm here. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. She could find me. Oh, no, no, she's coming. She's coming. She's coming up the stairs. Hide. Hide. Go down the corridor. Hide in this bedroom. Hide in the bedroom. I don't think she saw me. I don't think she saw me. Oh, what are you doing in here? I thought you were outside the laundry pool. Do, do, do. Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished a new dance for the town's carnival. Do, da, da. Even though the song is finished. Guru, guru, the traveling musician was added to your notebook. Oh, right. So we managed to get you in our notebook. So we're up to date on the bomber's notebook now. I think. No, we haven't got Grog yet. No, I haven't got Grog yet. So, what the hell? What? Hey, there's some smelly underwear here. Or there's some... Some pants that have been... I don't know. Hang on a sec. I think there's something funny you could do with this, actually. If you put on the mask of sense, you can get a smell of it, I think. Yeah, look. <laughs> I don't know if you can do anything with it, like if you can interact with it in any way, but hang on, let me put Tattle on, see what Tattle has to say. The power of this mask allows you to see what you can smell. If it's possible, put the scent, put the scent in something and take it to the Magic Hag's potions. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I want to try something here. I've never tried this before, but we're getting a smell here, so are you kidding me? I got a magic mushroom from someone's underpants. What? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, who would shove magic mushrooms inside someone's pants? Unless someone was up here doing drugs or something. But yeah, that's a great way to hide some drugs. Just shove them in your underwear. No one will find them. <laughs> wow. Some people. Yeah, some people. Well, we haven't even got the Rosa sisters, so yeah, that's someone else we haven't got inside our notebook. I didn't realize that. Oh, this is a cutscene that you have to. S oh, this is part of the Andrew and Cafe side quest. Ah, uh, uh, um, um, what is this? I have a delivery. I have a, d a delivery for you. Ah, oh, wait, this letter. Wh where did you? From the post box. <laughs> that that's not what I meant. From the post box where? From the post box somewhere. That's not what I meant. Angie the innkeeper was added to your notebook. 
Right, so the postman's now gone off. That's an optional event, you don't have to do that, but if you want to get every cutscene in the Andrew and Cafe side quest, that is one of those cutscenes you have to uh, trigger. But anyway, I think we can get our room reservation now at 2 p.m., so we're going to try and get our reservation. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes. You do have a re reservation, that's good. Mr. Link, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Link, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here is your key. Oh, sounds very kinky. Uh, you got a room key. You're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. So we have a reservation on the top floor, so let's go check out our new room. Is it comfy? <laughs> Has it got loads of knives in there? Well, let's see. What? Wait a minute. Where are my knives? This is no knife chamber. This is just like any other casual room that you would find in a normal hotel, not a room with a bunch of knives sticking on the walls or anything like that. I was expecting something a little bit more extreme, but... <laughs> okay. Well, we get a chest and a free 100 rupees, so I guess we get a free 100 rupees with this reservation as well, so... If you want to get a 100 rupees, just... Well... <laughs> I won't go grinding for rupees from this chest because you have to go, you know, get the room key and then come back up into this room again and get the 100 rupees that way. Whereas you can just get the 100 rupees from the sewers and some from the um, back of the shooting gallery. But, uh, yeah, there's also another cutscene that I want to go ahead and show you and it's right now downstairs. So we're going to have to go down and if it's still there, I don't know. Oh, he, yeah, it is. He's coming in. He's coming in. A gore on all the way out here, huh? So he must have traveled all the way from the mountains, I guess. Possibly. I'm terribly sorry, there are no vacancies today. We're booked with solid with reservations. I made a reservation, the, link, the name is Link Goro. Mr. Link Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There is one close to that, but... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. I'm terribly sorry. Nah. Poor Goron. <laughs> He's gonna have to go ahead and find some other place to sleep for the night. But, in, but for us, we got ourselves a room, baby. Yeah. I feel kind of bad, though. We have to we've kicked this poor Goron out. And uh, he probably wanted to find a room so he could just, you know, sleep. But now he has to go ahead and sleep outside. But anyway, let us carry on with the quest. Put on our cafe mask and speak to Anji. You're also looking for cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. You promised to meet her at, mi at night. It was added to your notebook. Right, so we've got to meet Anju at night on... At 11.30 p.m. on the night of the first day. So, you know what? I'm going to skip to that. So, I'll see you at 11.30 p.m. on the night of the first day. Yeah, I'll see you all then. One hour remaining. So, we got to wait till 11.30 p.m. And Angie's cooking some soup. I want some soup. I really do. It looks so tasty. It looks so creamy, actually. Like chicken soup. Chick chicken soup's really, really creamy. And, uh, you got some onions going on here? What are you, like some kind of chef? You should be on, like, some sh cooking show. The Anju cooking show. <laughs> or the, you know, like, um, where she just makes, makes a show where she makes, invents different kinds of recipes and, yeah, that kind of show. Where she invents new recipes. She's got some onions, some soup. I'm hungry now, I want some food. And I can hear her coming, so... She's obviously walking down the corridor here. Hey, you're late! It's 11.30! You're late! I've been waiting here for about an hour. Technically not an hour. Practically about a few minutes. But still, you you were late. You were late. And you arranged this, so... Oh, you're here at midnight anyway, but... Oh well. Okay, let's speak to you. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it, getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here is my letter. Please put this in a postbox. 
When when this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I... I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. No problems. Okay, so we got the letter to Cafe. Quick deliver it for her. Take it to a mailbox. So now we made an important promise. This was added to your notebook. Please mail it immediately in the morning. So I don't know if you can mail it now. I, I, I don't know if it... Well, I'm not sure it... it uh, if you can mail it now, because it doesn't matter whether you do mail it now or whether you mail it in the morning. So instead of jumping to the second day, I can do this now. And what's this? The Goron sleeping outside. The funny thing is, with this Goron, when he's snoring, you can hear him all the way up here. Like, snoring. I'm pretty sure you can hear him snoring all over East Clocktown. That's how loud he snores. Look. I'm standing at the very corner and I can still hear him snore. <laughs> wow. But anyway, let's see what he is going... I don't know if he's going to say anything. He's what he's... In dreamland, dr dreaming about donuts. Rock donuts. <laughs> the wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro, Goro. Yeah, he is right. Tomorrow it is going to rain. It's the second day. And every day on the second day, it always rains. So, All right, let's get our letter to cafe out. I don't know if it matters if you deliver it now, but if I deliver it now and then I make a huge mistake by doing this, I'm seriously going to kick myself for it. But, uh... Let's give it a try. Technically, it is morning because it's one in the morning. So, well, let's see whether the post box is actually going to accept it. I don't know. Oh, you have to talk to it. Deposit mail here. Kaching. Here you go. Tasty letter. <laughs> Your letter has been received. Kaching. It shall be delivered tomorrow. Kaching. Sent a letter. This was added to your notebook. Tasty, wasn't it? Tasty letter. You taste that letter and you like it. Uh, right, so now our next... The next thing we have to do is go to the second day. I don't know what you have to do on the second day. I've completely forgotten. Actually. Whether you talk to Anju and say that you've delivered the letter. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to f find out now. So let's go to the second day. Song of Double Time. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's scary, the moon's gonna fall in 48 hours. The, f the moon, the moon, the moon, and all you care about is juggling your balls. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Okay, let's go inside. Stop messing around. <laughs> I thought, alright, okay. I, I, no, I was going to say I thought Angie's mum was here on the second day, but no, she's here on the final day, I think. Oh, did you see him? I'm sorry, it's probably too soon to ask. Uh, right, so now that we've delivered the letter, I think we have to wait for the letter to be delivered to him. Which would be... Um, at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Something like that. It's either 3 o'clock in the afternoon on the second day, or it's either something like 1 o'clock in the afternoon on the second day. And you have to go to the laundry pool, because that's where he's residing. So, I'll meet you in the laundry pool at around about 3 o'clock? Or whenever the postman arrives, so I'll see you all then. Here he comes, he's running, he's chugging along, and he's going to press the bell. And what that does is triggers the door to open, and Cafe comes out. So now what you have to do, well, I guess we can wait until he comes up to the postman to discuss some things with him, so then we can see what they have to say to each other. Because that would be kind of interesting to see. But we've got to be quick because it's on fast time, so it's not as if it's on slow time or anything like that. I have a letter for you. Right, so that's all he had to say. Right, okay, quickly run into his house before he comes back. And, um, yeah, this is the first look we get of the inside of where Cafe's been hiding out. And it looks kind of cramped. I wouldn't like to live in here, actually. Uh, especially... Well, I'm not very claustrophobic, but... In fact, I'm not claustrophobic at all. I don't suffer from that. But, um... Yeah, I just... 
I don't think it would be very comfortable. It's not that... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just... It looks very cramped. Because of how close the table is to the bed and stuff. But anyway, let's see what Cafe has to say. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. It seems you are looking for Cafe. Can you keep a secret? Well, yeah, I can keep a secret. I'm not like someone to go out and tell everyone. Andrew trusted you. I shall also trust you too. Holy crap! I am Cafe. So that's the face that's been hiding behind that mask. The cafe, the cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask, but I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I, when I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate, but on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Hey! I take offense to that. My, but before my wedding, my before my w before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my! I pity you. I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give it to Andrew. Okay. So he's given us the pendant of memory, so I guess this is like some kind of symbolic um, meaning or something. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Why is it suddenly lagging like crazy? I don't know. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. The mysterious youth cafe was added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item, this is added to your notebook. Why did that suddenly lag just then? I don't know. <laughs> like, there was a few seconds of lag just there. But if you go, if you come up on top of this crate right here, and peer into this mask, things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. Okay. From here, I can check on the cu curiosity shop's customers. So this is just like some kind of spying thing. I guess this is like kind of... I mean, this is really bad, you know, it's like security or something, it's like a overlook on the shop. Yeah, this is really bad, we're spying on people, being nosy. But yeah, I guess he's waiting for this mask to be pawned off at the curiosity shop, considering that everything makes its way back here that's been stolen. That's why I, that's why I say, when your sword gets stolen from that Takuri bird outside of the milk road, it gets pawned off at the curiosity shop. Like, I will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. And then you'll pounce. Pounce like a leopard taking its prey, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to be kind of... I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'll end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next video, we'll be delivering the Pendant of Memories to Anju and see what kind of reaction we get from her. And continuing on with the Cafe and Anju side quest. So until then, take care, everybody. This is NDM saying see you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.